Hey, this is Prometheus giving you another defensive tip. Uh, this is you know, basically you'd be in a 3-4 or a 46, but it's going to be out of the dime normal formation. Now, uh, dime generally is going to come with a cover 2 is one of the plays that you can audible into. It's also going to have a uh, cover 3. But what I do like about dime is that it does have a lot of creative blitzes. Uh, one blitz that is very easy to set up, very fast, and is a good base blitz to go ahead and build a scheme around against an opponent that likes to do a lot of forward wide uh, is a 3 double sky. Uh, this is a blitz that's been around for a long time. I'm going to go ahead and break this down. It's a very easy adjustment. All you really have to do is just go ahead and base align, show blitz, uh, then go ahead and uh, basically go ahead and crash your defensive line down, and then you use your, your, your middle linebacker, and then you buff, bluff this them, and you should be able to get some easy edge pressure off the edge. So let me just go ahead and show you how to set this blitz up. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and... Uh, Baseline show blitz, crash your defensive line down, and then you're going to go ahead and use this middle linebacker and just bluff blitz them and just put them in one of the gaps. And what's going to happen is that you're 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 basically going to get a free release against your opponent uh, and be able to hit them off the edge with a dual pressure. So as you can see right here, I've got dual edge pressure coming off the edges. Uh, the the opponent is actually going ahead and uh, is using his, his running back, but you can see it's a very, very fast blitz against your, your opponent. And then you, you're essentially going to be having um, some people that are going to be falling back in the zones for you uh, to go ahead and take away some, some of those different reads that your opponent has. Now, uh, if your opponent has been using a lot of verticals against you, he could definitely go ahead and hit the seam. Uh, but you can make some adjustments to go ahead and stop those type of things, such as flipping the play to actually go ahead and, and taking this defender that actually go into the vertical section. So just once again to show this blitz uh, for you, what you're going to do is you're going to do triangle or Y button, bring up your coverage adjustments, you're going to hit the, the left stick to the left to base align. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and hit your triangle or Y button to bring up your coverage adjustments, and you're going to go ahead and show blitz by actually going ahead and hitting your a left stick left and that's going to bring everybody down into the box now what you do is hit your left bumper and this is going to bring up your defensive line adjustments and you're going to crash metal so essentially what's going to what the, what the defense is going to look like is like this and then the final thing you're going to do is you're going to hit your x button on playstation 3 uh, which will bring your individual zones and you're going to go ahead and hit your right stick to bluff blitz and you're going to have that extra blitzer coming in and what you can do is just go ahead and put your blitzer into either either one of the gaps really, um, and that's going to do a basically adjustment. And then finally, uh, if you have time, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and commit to the pass by hitting your left trigger and then passing up like that so you've got a pass commit. And this is essentially what the blitz is going to look like is going to get a free release. If your opponent does block his running back, you're still going to get that pressure against uh, against this particular blitz because you're essentially sending seven to, to what the offensive line thinks and then you're going to be able to go ahead and get that eaten. So where are the holes in the defense? Well, obviously the flats are going to be wide open. So if you have an opponent that actually throws into the flats, he's going to be able to pick up on that very easily. Um, also, the other the other thing right here is the seam is going to be wide open too. Uh, so you might want to do some up, up coverage uh, to try to, st try to take away from that. But this is going to give you very, very fast pressure. <clears throat> if you have an opponent that uh, likes to do lob streaks and stuff like that, he, this might be a good uh, defense to run because then he's not going to have time to actually develop it. Or if he likes to throw over the middle too, uh, if he does a lot of drags and stuff like that, he has to wait for those plays to develop. This is a very good thing. Now, if he starts hitting you in the flats and starts picking up in your tendencies, the great thing about this defensive set in, in dime is that your audibles actually has a man adjustment where you can essentially give your opponent the same look, but it's all basically man coverage. So in your audibles, you've got DB blitz, and basically it is man. So if you set the blitz up the same way, you crash down, you show blitz, you've got essentially just man coverage. Now, you do have to be cognitive of, of who you've got uh, as far as your coverage is concerned. Um, you can actually go ahead and, and uh, try to go ahead and pick up the running back as one of your coverages, but the blitz should get in fairly quick, uh, and uh, you sometimes get some gap blitzes too. So. If you throw in some other different types of adjustments against your opponent and giving them essentially the same look, uh, they're going to have a hard time, um, st you know, basically stopping this look because they're just they're not going to be knowing exactly where to go. Uh, you can go into a cover one, uh, cover one man, give them the same look, 
and if you wanted to you can go ahead and take one of your defenders and actually pull them out uh, just to give yourself uh, just another defender to actually go ahead and take things away so this is just a very easy play this is a basic play this is a concept that's been around for a long time uh, I figured I'd share it with you because you can run this uh, against an opponent that runs maybe four wide uh, in those type of situations where they got four wide receivers. Uh, if he's doing verticals and he's got trip sets with the, where the wide receivers are off to the right, that might cause you some problems as far as alignments are concerned. But the pressure is fairly consistent. It is going to get, it's going to be sending offensive line seven people with the bluff bits. And they're just going to, he's going to have a hard time. He's going to have to adjust to it. So a third and long situation, uh, even in a hurry up situation, you can use this as a base uh, base play. You have a base blitz. You know, you have two different types of pressures with the edge pressure. And then you can just, you can sprinkle in your coverages from there. So if you do like this stuff, you like these tips, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button, a uh, like button, and any kind of, con kind of adjustments that you guys do set these blitz up a little bit quicker or easier or you think are more effective, please comment. I really appreciate the support. To all my subscribers, once again, I appreciate the support. Until next time.